Every object which can be manipulated with the Antares Universe graph has a gizmo. These are visual and geometric aids in the design process. You can see a bunch of them here. Uh, for instance, let's see this directional light with a little sun for an icon. It's glowing at the scene. Uh, we can change the visual appearance of gizmos like color, brightness, and so on, but we also have the ability to change some advanced features of gizmos, such as their icons, text labels, and so forth. We call this the gizmo console. Let's see that invisible incorporeal wall of ours which serves as a trigger. We're gonna change its icon. Toggling the little checkbox, by the way, toggles the gizmo visibility on or off. Anyway, let's look for another icon. Here we have the texture selector. Those familiar with 3D modeling will find this a familiar sight, perhaps. Those freaky looking people skins, so should you know, are all-in-one textures for complex 3D figures. Okay, well, uh, here's a good one, so let's select it. No need to save, it'll set automatically. There, take a look. We've changed the icon. And now let's do a text label, since those are very helpful. We'll call this one Trigger, because that's what it is. We can change its color, but that's not going to show up since the object is invisible. Let's create some interactive gizmo action. We're gonna use the on trigger stay activator that checks for an object's presence continuously. Okay, let's select the set value boolean function here. On trigger stay set true, on trigger exit set false. Uh, easy, right? Alright, that's our function. Now let's make it affect a gizmo. And we're gonna set value to a text gizmo, a text string. Let's undock this thing for a better look. In this simple block, we're just gonna add a gizmo description. Mind that it's got a string valuable too, and that's gonna put our true or false when run. Whether we get a true or false, something is going to happen. So we're gonna have to link both of them to the gizmo activator. We'll also link the bool value out to our variable string value. Thus, the string true or false will be placed into the string variable of our gizmo. Let's play and take a look. And there's our target. Let's go show it we mean business. Alright, let's move our avatar here. Slowly now, let's see how the thing changes. On trigger stay, true! On trigger stay, false! Now, note that it's not going away now that it's up. We didn't add a function to remove the text label gizmo. See how it changes when our object, uh, the player avatar, goes in and out of our trigger? Also, see how it's all a steady glowing red on the Antares graph? That means it's active. Now let's modify a program a little. Let's make it on trigger enter instead of on trigger stay. It's gonna have the exact same functionality. You know why? Because it's going to continuously enter the trigger as it stays. See what happens now? Same as it was before. The Gizmo console is a very cool development tool, as you can see. We can output any variable through it, not just this. Hope you've enjoyed.